What is going on everyone, Hayden here, back again with another video. In this one I said I'd show you how to pick your Facebook targeting and your interest for your dropshipping store, so let's do it. I got my notes here on my computer, so you know it's about to be good. But jumping right in here, you know there's a lot of different things with picking your targeting and just Facebook ads in general that people don't really understand. But when it comes to the targeting, that's the biggest thing I struggled with and I think that's like the pain point that most people have, especially once they already know how to build the ad, write the sales copy, have a really congruent you know, flow as they you know, have their customers go from the first scene, the advertisement, and the product, all the way through the purchasing process, which is something I'm super big on. You gotta make sure the colors are right, the pictures are right. The watermark, you know, having watermarks on your photos, just little things like that, you know, knowing what to do and what not to do is super, super important. But the Facebook targeting is definitely one of the things that really had me stumped in the beginning for like a solid month. So now that I finally have campaigns starting to do okay, you know, I'm by no means making a ton of money, but they are profitable and I'm trying to scale them, so I thought I'd start sharing some value. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the big six. What is the big six, you might ask? Good question. Well, the big six is like whenever you're trying to pick a product or a specific niche, you know, for whatever you're trying to sell, think of what are the big six brands, the big six companies, big six stores, whatever it is. Those big six, and you're going to build off those. You want to find those, find similar stores that are smaller than that that you can target on Facebook, right? Too many people just, let's say they're doing sunglasses, they're going to target Hawkers Co, Ray-Ban, Oakley, and like two other major brands or whatever. You know, I'm not very good with sunglasses, but that's all they're gonna target. And the problem is their targeting is gonna be through the roof. It's gonna be like 30 million reach. And unless you have like a $100,000 a day budget, that's not gonna be very effective. I don't know if my scale is off or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Don't just target the big six, right? Build off of that. You can have split tests where those big six or big five, whatever it is, those main core companies are part of your targeting, but you're gonna need a lot of others too. And I always recommend splitting it up, right? Two different split tests. One for small targeting, one for big targeting. For the small one, you're gonna have a list of about 20 to 30, and in the big one, you wanna go like three to eight. Most people are gonna ask if you have 20 to 30, how are you gonna get it to a small audience? You know, I always recommend when you're launching an ad, especially for the small targeting, you really want it between like 250 and 750,000. But how are you gonna actually get it down if you have 20 or 30 you know, different stores and brands you're targeting? Well, it's the same thing we talked about in the last video. Uncheck that little box at the bottom, right? If Facebook is spending your money and just absolutely wasting it if you don't uncheck that box. You know, you can go back and watch that last video and see you know, what I talked about with that. But along with that, you know, to narrow it down more, this is something I do in every campaign, doesn't matter what the product is, narrow your audience. So you can have two separate filters. Click, you can either exclude or narrow. Always narrow down and do it by purchase behavior. Click suggest or browse or whatever, go down to their purchase behavior and you can select something that's super, super relevant. So why would you not want to target people who are interested in 30 different sunglasses companies and have a history of buying women's accessories, right? Whatever category sunglasses would fall under. And you know, for whatever product, it's the same principle and the same core concepts, but you really wanna make sure that you have multiple different tests and you're narrowing down your audience. Most people I see have their issues, they don't even know about audience size, what works, what doesn't, and they're just wasting money. So I wanna make sure, especially if you're beginning, that you're at least shooting in the right direction and not completely wasting your money. Now you are definitely gonna be spending some money in the beginning, not necessarily wasting, but learning. I spent a few hundred dollars, you know, actually I probably spent well over a thousand dollars on Facebook ads just until I actually had some profitable campaigns not necessarily with drop shipping, but just with everything, you know, to learn the skill. It's a very, very important skill. And if you can cut your learning curve in any way, whether it's by buying a course, talking to a mentor, watching YouTube videos, whatever it is, do it, right? It's gonna help you significantly and why would you not wanna make things go faster? Always work at an accelerated pace in anything you do and try to 10X it very, very quickly. Now, back to the point of the actual targeting, right? When I'm talking about a list of 20 to 30 different companies that you wanna be targeting in your more niche down split test, I'm talking people between like 20,000 and 750,000 in their total reach. You really don't wanna be pushing brands that are over a million because you can just add those to your bigger split test, right? That's why we're doing two, that's why we have multiple different campaigns and we're testing different things. But for this one, keep it small, keep it narrow. If you have a list of 20 to 30 with you know a couple hundred thousand on average, ideally a little bit smaller, and if you combine that by having your audience narrowed down with the purchase history, you're gonna crush it, right? If everything's congruent, your ad is good, everything's set up the right way, the product's good, it lines up with the audience, and you just keep testing, you're eventually gonna hit something that works, and it's gonna work really, really well. Now, how do you actually find those 20 or 30 brands and stores to target? That's by far one of the biggest issues I've seen people have. And I've had that same exact issue myself and I still do, but I try and just utilize Facebook, right? Everything you need is on Facebook. The advertising's on Facebook, but you also have the customer history. You definitely wanna be picking you know, who you're targeting your interest based on what Facebook's gonna recommend you in that suggested box. Once you type in you know, six or seven different brands that are very, very relevant and similar, it's gonna give you 10, 20, 30 others. Now don't just select all of them you know, because Facebook's recommending it. 
take the time, right? Don't be lazy. Go search each one on Google, right? Make sure that they at least have similar products, a similar theme and vibe on their store because some won't, right? Most will, but some won't. So you don't want to do those ones that don't because you'd just be wasting your targeting space by doing that. Now, another great way to find targeting is to go to the people who are liking the bigger pages that you're already targeting and spend the time digging through their likes, who they're following, and you know what content they're posting, what products they're buying, all that. You can see that on their Facebook page. You just see other brands in different stores because typically, let's say, if someone's interested in sunglasses, they're probably gonna have shopped around or looked at a few or at least liked a couple posts. So you know, if you dig around and look a little bit, you can kind of see who people are following, what they're liking. That is gonna take some time, but if you're desperate for targeting, go do that. Like we talked about in the last video, I really, really need you guys to uncheck, uncheck, remember, uncheck, listen, uncheck that little button that's right under um, all your interest in your targeting when you're you know, setting up your campaign just going down. Once you get all your targeting in place, everything set up, uncheck that box and watch how much it drops. You know, It'll go from 19 million to 500,000 and that drop is just drastic. That right there is like the one thing that really helped me like get my campaigns not necessarily profitable, but at least better. The biggest thing for me that made my campaigns profitable was the actual post itself. What layout to use, how to set it up, what to say, you know, when to put in your product, what pictures to use, what colors, all these different things. It was the actual post that really started pushing things over the edge for me, as well as the targeting, right? It wasn't really anything else. I had everything else down. That's just basic skill. But it was the targeting and the post, for sure. That's it. So I definitely want to make sure I can jump on, you know, I'm still waiting on my camera in the mail. But I definitely, definitely want to make more videos, like ideally jumping into my computer and showing you guys exactly like how I set up my ads, what I target, how I pick my targeting. And uh, hopefully even you know going through building a store, setting up product, product descriptions, which are really, really important. So those are the type of videos I definitely want to be making on my channel for you guys. But definitely let me know in the comments below what type of videos you guys want to see. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions there. And you know maybe a video will come out of it. You never know. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subs by the end of this month. I'm going to do that by posting the most fire content you guys have ever seen, providing so much value, helping you guys out as much as possible, and posting consistently. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next one.